Hey, fellow probate agents, Anthony Nitz here. Hey, I get asked all the time, man, why do you use YouTube videos to promote your real estate sales? Uh, I'm going to show you why. So the big question is this, how are ordinary agents just like us supposed to stand out in the overly crowded real estate space while living a great lifestyle without having to go broke or radically change what we're already doing? Probate is the answer, and this series will show you how. I'm Anthony Nitz, and welcome to The Probate Agent. Okay, so first and foremost, one of the main reasons why I use YouTube videos is because as opposed to Facebook, first of all, I've just never really had any good luck with Facebook. You know, everybody who is out there promoting, you know, do Facebook ads, Facebook ads, they're more, um, uh, in my opinion, trying to get leads for you. They're trying to get a bunch of leads for you just to line up and now fill up your CRM with a bunch of leads that you can sit there and cold call and dial all day long, which is okay. But in my opinion, the quality is a little bit less and I'm not the cold call warrior. I do not sit there and bang the phones all day long to, you know, try to just get that one person to go out and let me show them properties and stuff like that. Um, I want people when they reach out, I want people to reach out to me as opposed to me reaching out to them, right? And so what I'll do is I'll create a YouTube video that has, you know, a certain type of content or something like that that I think would be engaging or important to that person. And uh, and so what I so when I run ads and I run them on YouTube, it's different because YouTube is more of a search engine and more of an engagement type of uh, tool as opposed to Facebook, which is more of a social interaction let's let's see what's going on kind of thing right people go to youtube and they literally type in how do i sell a home in probate right or they search it in google and if you have a youtube video that uh, um, answers the question that they're asking for well same thing then it will come up as a video and we know that most people would like to watch videos on that as well the other reason is because with YouTube, YouTube videos versus Facebook videos, Facebook videos, you got to make them short and sweet. Okay. YouTube videos, people are going there to learn. So you can do an eight minute video like the one that I'm, I'm about to show you how I uh, post that as an ad. Um, but you can do an eight minute video. Okay. And they will go, they will sit and watch it as long as it's giving them the information that, that they're looking for. Okay. So I'm going to go to my other screen here and I'm going to show you how to set up an ad. Now creating the video, that's up to you. There's so many tools out there that tell you, show you how to create a video. And there's a number one rule that I have when I'm uh, coaching agents on doing their online marketing is done is better than perfect. Done is better than perfect. You can sit there all day long and oh, let's just adjust the, the color a little bit. Really, give me a break. That's not making you sales. Uh, oh, I stuttered in that video. Uh, no, forget it. Don't worry about it. Come on, let's go. Let's get this done for you. Okay. Um, uh, let's get it out there. And it isn't until it's out there that you can actually start to see what is going to give you the results that you're looking for, right? If, if you do a video and you're study, stuttering, but people are calling you, they're going, you know what? I like that person. They're a real genuine person. They're, they're giving me the information. They seem knowledgeable. Uh, I'm going to give them a call, you know, but if you spend four and a half weeks creating a produced video, so it looks just right. <clears throat> and it will have a lifespan of like this, then forget it. Don't bother. So, Let's go look. I'm going to show you how I set up my YouTube campaigns and I'll kind of tell you why. Now, again, I want to stress, this is not a, here's a Google ads, uh, uh, campaign training. I'm going to go, sh step you through the process that I use. I'm going to kind of give you some details. There's a thousand other videos and, uh, and other resources. And, uh, matter of fact, I mean, we've got training courses available on how to use YouTube and stuff like that. If you want access to those, just let me know, send me a message, reach out to me. However, um, you know, where, depending on where you're seeing this, just message me or, or call me or whatever. It doesn't matter. And I'll give you access to those trainings. Um, so we're in the Google ads manager. And first thing I'm doing is I came over here and I said, uh, 
um, you have this little fly out right here. So usually it's like that. And so when you come here, it's a little confusing because if you just have campaigns, you're like, eh, what's going on here? Okay. But I want to do a video campaign. So I'm clicking on video campaign just to make sure that I'm going into video campaigns. And I just click this blue button here, campaign. And I click new campaign. Not hard so far, right? Hopefully not now. Okay. So you're going to get, what is the goal of your uh, campaign that you're about to run? And uh, these are basically just templates of what it is that, you know, you think you want to accomplish. And what they'll do is they'll put some of those pieces in place for you that allow you to get done what you want to get done. However, I don't uh, like them having that level of control. I like to have more level of control over my campaigns and things like that. So I'm just going to go create campaign without uh, goal guidance. And then I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go um, video. Do not do discovery. Okay, discovery is, um, let's see, so when you click on a video, so first of all, this is part of discovery, right, what's showing up on those pages, but also, if you do discovery ads, what it's doing is it's putting your video on the sidebar over here with, um, with the other videos. Let me just mute that, or pause that, uh, but if you scroll down, you'll see, so down here, uh, see, they're still not finished loading for whatever reason, but these are, uh, this is a discovery ad right here. Okay. So for a lot of people, when they open a YouTube video, they're going to have these ads here, but there, you have to keep in mind, there's a lot of people like myself, you know, who is doing online marketing. I have this vidIQ app installed that's given me, um, information. And so I never even see the discovery ads that show up. The whole purpose of discovery ads is so that they will, you know, you're sitting there watching your video and you come over here and you go, oh gosh, I want to watch this one about this thing this guy made. Okay, that sounds good. Or in this case, you got uh, this guy, Ad Outreach. Um, you know, you see his ad, there you go. Oh, that looks interesting. Okay, learn how to run YouTube ads right there. <laughs> there you go. Um, so in my opinion, discovery ads is not the way to go. Okay, so you want to do video. And then custom video campaign. Just real, don't worry about all the rest of this stuff. You can go learn about all this stuff all you want. It says learn more. Just click on learn more and it'll tell you about these different things. And so what I'm doing is a, um, I usually will just take their suggested campaign name because it'll include the date. And that's important because as you're building campaigns, it's good sometimes to, to kind of see oh, what was the date that I created that so that you can either track it and you can stop it when you want to stop it and know, oh gosh, that one's been running for a week and I haven't had anything. Uh, or, um, gosh, I've uploaded that, you know, five days ago and it's still not approved. What's going on? And now you can reach out to them. So, but this one is called coming soon. Okay, so it's uh, coming soon promo. So that's what I have there. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use this again later. Copy. Uh, you go here. It says bidding strategy, ma maximum cost per view. Don't worry about that. I you have options, but I'm not going to go into it. Like I said, so many different things you can learn. I'm telling you exactly what I do. Maximum cost per view. Campaign total or daily. So for me, you know what, I'll put 10 bucks, depending on the area, how big of an area I'm targeting. If I'm just doing like a couple zip codes, 10 bucks is usually pretty fine. If I'm doing a whole county, no, that's not enough. <laughs> okay, so you just got to kind of judge it. And also watch the number of impressions over here as we're putting a criteria and you'll see it start to uh, adjust as we go. Start date, yes, today, end date. I don't put an end date because if I have a campaign that's running really well, and it automatically cuts off. No, I don't want that because now we got to start the campaign over again, which which means Google has to now go and learn how to, uh, uh, you know, who needs to see those ads again, right? Uh, I don't know if you can actually restart the campaign or not, but uh, that would be a good thing if you could, but whatever. Uh, I just don't chance it. I control it. I just make sure I put it in my calendar. Hey, you know what? I want this ad to run for five days. You know, next Wednesday, come in, turn it off if that's what I want to do. Okay. Now, networks. Where is the ad going to be shown? So now, see, notice how they have this kind of, kind of, uh, compressed, closed down. 
uh, so it's like you just kind of skip over it maybe, but this is really important. Okay, so now you have um, uh, three different things. YouTube search results. So when somebody does a search on YouTube, let's see. Um, search. Um, how to sell my house. And it's going to give you these results. Now, if any anybody was paying for an ad with that as a keyword or as a title or as tags or anything in their video, then that would be showing up uh, over here as a paid ad that somebody would look at that and go, oh, gosh, let me click on that. And obviously, if it's the top one and it's relevant, people click on it. So you can have search results <clears throat> or you can have YouTube videos. Ads can appear in YouTube videos, channel pages, and on the YouTube homepage. Uh, you can use in-stream and video discovery ads. So uh, if you uncheck this, uh, by the way, yeah, video partners on the display network, never put those out there. Think of it like this. You ever been to a website and it has those um, ads that pop up and start playing a video? That's the video partners on the display network. Some of them. I mean, there's other versions of it too. Um, and I've been to sites where like they play the same video every time the page is refreshed. So they're playing it. They're playing your video 10 times and you're getting charged for that you know so uh and i don't think engagement is really good on that when it's outside the the youtube network being that youtube is a search engine okay so then i go well normally in the past what i would do is i would uncheck both of these however i got um um if you uncheck one it says uh it must be selected Okay, if I uncheck this one, it says, oh, well, that one must be selected. So it's either one or the other. They're forcing you forcing you to do it. And so uh, what I am doing is I just go ahead and leave it on um, uh, YouTube videos. I'm sorry. Yeah, YouTube videos. Uh, because I do want it to, to be found in the on the channel pages and, and all of that. And if you have a different thought on that, I'd love to see your stats on it too because I, I don't know if anybody's ever – check the difference for real estate YouTube videos specifically, not your, I'm building a marketing agency, not your, um, uh, learn how to come get rich, but specifically for real estate, um, listing generating ads. Okay. Not even buyer lead ads, real estate generating ads uh, or listing generating ads. Okay. So anyways, YouTube videos, um, and then what I do is I come in here and I pick a location that went auto-populated from the last time I did. And so what I'll do is, in my case, <coughs> I'll put a zip code. So 92780. And then I will ask, okay, is that the target? Yep, that's the target. Now watch this over here. Drop down from 10 billion to 5.1 million. Okay. And then I would go 92782. And these are like the three primary ones right right around me, 92705. Hello. There we go. Okay, so 92705. So again, remember it dropped it from 10 million to 51 million to now 9.4 million. Okay, so we're starting to squeeze it down a little bit. It asked me for language. I really don't uh, um, uh, worry about that because I figure if somebody is looking for, you know, what I am offering they understand English enough that they're going to figure it out. If not, uh, I think Google will actually do like a, their version of a translate, not perfect of course, but, uh, they might get it. So inventory type, you get these different options. I'm not going to go into what those are. I always just choose standard inventory. Okay. Um, and then excluded types and labels. So what I do, so, uh, I always take off, um, live streaming videos. Think about it. You're, somebody goes on a live stream. They're there to watch that thing, that event, that whatever's happening. And then your ad pops up. Are they really going to be interested in hearing about what it is that you have to say that just interrupted that live stream? No, probably not. Um, embedded videos. People have given me different uh, um, thoughts on that of embedded videos. You know, should I let that embedded video that's playing on somebody else's site show my ad? You know, I don't know, uh, but I leave it unchecked because I figure, you know, it can't, that can't hurt. 
uh, that's not a live event, okay, that, that you're interrupting. So, um, and then add group name. So, I copied that from above. Um, video group. So, I <clears throat> kind of just keep it, but I say video group one. And now here's where the fun part comes in, the demographics. So, here's one of the things. So, <clears throat> with the way that we put these video ads together, you don't really need to worry about any of this stuff. Okay, don't need to worry about any of this stuff here. And the reason is because when we get into our audiences, we are going to select in-market audiences. And what that means is if they're in-market, that means they are actively searching for what it is that you're offering for. Okay, and so while 18 to 24-year-olds probably are not looking to sell their... Um, uh, uh, sell their house because they probably don't have one in a lot of cases there might be some you know so and if they're actively looking for it fine or maybe that 18 to 24 year old maybe mom or dad said hey can you go do some research for us and now they start finding your stuff and they go oh hey mom and dad i came across this guy or this girl and you know they seem to know what they're talking about maybe talk to them right so I kind of leave this alone. I know a lot of people say, take these guys off, take the unknowns off, because then you don't know if they're bots and all that stuff. But um, when you start using the in-market targeting, it kind of solves that problem for you, in my opinion. Um, audiences. So here's, yeah, here's, here's where the fun is. So um, these are, these are ones that I've used in the past, but uh you'll see down here I have homeowners. Okay, so me, my target is specifically to homeowners. I do not want to talk to anybody else. <clears throat> I want to talk to people who own homes because do people who own homes also buy homes? Yes, of course they do. Okay, um, but if I can get the homeowners because I'm always going after listings. So uh, if that doesn't show for you, obviously, because it's not something you use. If you just go here and you say home owners under the search, it's going to give you that. Okay. Renters. No. And if you're doing a buyer campaign, sure. Why not renters? Okay. Uh, so I'm going to click on homeowners. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to, um, search for, um, some in market, uh, uh, stuff. So if I just say real estate, okay. And again, I had a lot of those because I was already, doing that before but um if you hover over it it'll tell you so now this one here says apartments for rent and residential properties for rent i really don't want that i don't want those people um seeing those however if they're not homeowners they're not going to see it but then again if they're a homeowner and they're looking for a place to rent is it because they have to sell their house possibly play around with it test it out um but i'm i'm not targeting that myself uh, again, this this includes the rent houses for sale. Okay, so new houses for sale, pre-owned out house, pre-owned houses for sale, residential properties for sale. That's a perfect one for me because I'm targeting listings. If somebody's looking for houses for sale and they're a homeowner, they're moving. <laughs> okay, uh, apartments for sale, sure. Uh, pre-owned new apartments, sure. Okay, and I'll just keep going down the list here. For sale, for sale, for sale. Okay. Houses for rent? Probably not. Oops. Yeah, not not that. Commercial properties? No. Apartments for sale. And I know that, you know, with, uh, uh, at least here in California, we don't call them apartments, you know, for sale. They're condos or whatever it is, but still, you know. New apartments for sale. So, again, probably the same thing. And I'm sorry, this is the process, but I'm actually building a real campaign here. So, I want to make sure I'm getting the right stuff. Uh, properties for rent? No. For rent? No. Furnished apartments? No. Unfurnished apartments? Uh, let's see. Wait, let's see what furnished apartments says. Yeah, rent, rent, rent. Nope. Um, but again, keep in mind, if you're looking for buyers, that's that could be a, a good option there. Uh, unfurnished apartments recently purchased. Um, I don't know. There's probably something there for recently purchased. Or how about purchasing a home? So uh, people who are preparing to buy a home or have recently bought a home. 
I, I'm not going to check that because, again, uh, because it's like if they're uh, uh, preparing to buy a home or I've recently bought a home, um, do I want to see them after they bought a home? But you know what? There's actually not that acti that much activity around that right now. So I will I'll actually do that. I guess the, de the determine or de depends on what their definition of recently is. Okay. Purchasing a home soon. That's a good one. Okay. So again, if they're homeowners and they're purchasing a home soon, yeah, you bet. Okay. Home renovation. You know, a lot of people like to kind of tag onto that one because they think if they're doing home renovation, then they'll um they'll buy a buy a home um you could do you know retirement uh retirement could be okay for kind of that probate message of hey we're you know uh, you're getting ready to retire and sell your house you know we you need to talk to us uh starting a business soon recently moved no not so much okay and so if you come over here and now you look you say 3.8 million okay now, to me, that's still pretty high for this area because uh, I'm doing just the three zip codes. Yeah, I'm just doing just the three zip codes. Uh, but, again, let's just make sure we got the homeowners in there. Yep, homeowners. And they're in market for, you know, buying or selling a house. That's really what that is. So, And you can get deeper on this. There's a lot more keywords and things like that. So keywords, topics, and placements, just leave it alone because, you know, you, you don't want to, you don't want to, um, uh, mess with it unless you want to come here and look at uh, real estate. So if you come over to real estate and then there's some subcategories, real estate listings, um, if people are looking, you know, residential sales, you know, this is more for buyers in my opinion, real estate services, uh, real estate agencies, maybe if somebody's looking for a real estate agent, you could, you could use that. But I would say, <clears throat> Uh, probably don't spend your time on that one because, uh, <clears throat> again, they're already have already demonstrated to Google that they are looking for something surrounding, um, the real estate market and their homeowners. I think we're good to go. Uh, mass costs per view. So, uh, for me, you know, like some people say, put a penny, put three cents, put whatever. I just put, you know, I want people to see it. So I put a nickel. I'm okay if everybody, pay, if everybody, uh, if I pay a nickel for everybody. And then what I have to do is grab the, um, oh, that's not it. That's not it. So that's the video. I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to go here. It's going to, because it's asking, ask what's your video that you're using? There you go. Okay, so now it's asking me, do I want a video discovery ad? Remember, those are the ones that are on the sidebar that sometimes get covered up by other apps and things like that. No, I don't want that. I want a skippable in-stream view. Remember, I'm only paying for people um, when they, uh, you know, for, for views, when they actually look at the uh, the video for 30 seconds or more. Okay, and it's asking for where's the final URL. Let me go grab that. You got that. There we go. That's in there. Display URL. So, and this is a special promotion that I do. I know it's not a favorite of a lot of other agents, but it's only because they don't understand how to leverage what I'm doing here. Uh, maybe we'll do that in another video at some point in time. So, um, yeah, I'll just leave that the way that it is. I do like to put a call to action. Uh, just basically uh, learn more. Okay, uh, um. <clears throat> Oops. Okay. Uh, auto generate using a banner, which is which is using your channel banner. Now, unless you have specifically made a channel banner that works for what it is that you're promoting. Don't waste that space. Create a banner. Uh, and I've, I I have one that I created. I'm going to go find that. Okay, so I uploaded that. So that's there. And ask me what the name of the ad name is. Do I still have that copy? No. Uh, do I still have that? So we're going to call it... Um, I'll go up here and get that group 
name again. one do I add other ads to my campaigns uh, sometimes if I'm really trying to kind of test things out and there's other strategies and everything too don't have time to get into that so look over here real quick before it goes away just kind of take a look at this so um, it says it said what our expected goals were we should have looked at that first just to give you an example but it's saying that I had something like one and a half uh, percent of Let's see if I can go back there. One and a half percent of the, I'm sorry, 1.5 thousand potential views a day, a day for 10 bucks. I'm okay with that. Going to homeowners in an area I specifically uh, determine that have in market activity going on. Yes, those are the people that I want to see my ad. So, um, I hope that that was helpful for you guys, you know, and so now the ad is, is being reviewed and depending on the situation, it could take a couple hours. It could take a day or two, um, you know, back in the beginning of all this COVID stuff, th th they were taking like a week to review ads. It was horrible. And so now what happens is these people watch these ads and you've given them a reason to click on the on, on the link and either go to your website or as you'll see in my videos i always boldly put my phone number right there okay and i'll tell you when i'm running my ads uh if like one that i have running right now to a very small area i am getting um about one phone call a day so here here's one uh this one here so let's take a look at it and see and yeah so here's the the promo i've had 1084 views and this is going to a really small area um most people are about 47 and a half percent of the people looking at our view it viewing it. it's costing me three three cents for every time somebody views are you okay with three cents yeah i've only spent 30 bucks and i've had 15 uh clicks on it uh which is a actually a really high click-through rate if you um, know anything about click-through rates and you know so it's giving me uh, I'm not sure why it's not letting me scroll over okay well oh there we go um, yeah I'm not tracking conversions or anything like that but if you know anything about click-through rates and all that good stuff you know that that's a really good click-through rate but but that's not even counting the the one call at least a day that I'm getting and that's just promoting a specific property so I like YouTube ads. You know, you have to decide what works for you and your budget and uh, and make it work. We you know one of the other things I like about YouTube ads is that they are evergreen. If you make them so that they're evergreen, they will always be there uh, as long as you make them, you know, publish live if you want to. I don't publish my ads live. I'll run my ads for, depending on the ad, I'll run it for, you know, a week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on how well it's doing. And then... Um, after I've had thousands of views on it, then I will publish it as a live, uh, I will make it live as opposed to unlisted. So that the reason is the reason for that is because now when I put a video up and everybody, all, all the people who are following me get a notification, Oh, Anthony just uploaded a video and they go and they look and they go, Holy smokes, this, vi this video has already had 3,600 views. They don't know that it was from paid ads. Okay. So they it adds a level of credibility as opposed to this video has zero views. You're the first one. Please watch the whole thing, right? It has 3,600 views. Do you think they're going to go, okay, well, what is it about this? I need to see. So anyways, kind of rambling now. And, uh, but I just hope that you guys can see how you could utilize this. Um, actually, I'm going to do one more thing specific for probate. Okay. So let's see if we can target attorneys using YouTube advertising. So here we go. So we're my YouTube uh, or, or my Google ads account. That's where your YouTube ads will run from. And uh, again, there's this little fly out here. Uh, this one's going to be quick. I did a, uh, the training on, on uh, running YouTube ads in general. 
Uh, so you can go back and watch that one if you haven't. Uh, this is part of that one, but I'm actually separating the two out too, so you can see both separately. But uh, if I run a video campaign, so I'm going to click on on the on this uh, fly out here. I just want to look at video campaigns. These are the two that I have running right now, and um, and so what I'm going to do is I want to say, well, what if I want to target specifically to attorneys? Can it be done? I haven't done it. We're going to do it right now. Okay, so select an ad group. Oh no, wait, oops, sorry, we're in the wrong place. We need to be in campaigns, and then we'll select. We'll just create a new test campaign just to see if the targeting is there for us. So, new campaign. Create a campaign without goals guidance. We went over all this in the uh, in the other video. So, get the YouTube training custom video campaign. Yes, continue. I'm just going to call this test target test target attorneys again maximum cost review I don't know whatever 10 bucks uh, a day per day let's say and then let's say for location uh, I'm gonna clear all these out and I'm gonna put Orange County California for example Orange County California and then I'm going to leave the languages, standard inventory, okay. Uh, again, we're taking live streaming off. And then, uh, I'm not going to worry about the ad group names. This is, this is just a test. But now we're going to talk about demographics. Again, I don't worry about this because we're doing more of an in-market type of demographic. So if they're meeting our criteria, it doesn't matter how old they are, what gender they are, uh, what their income is, and all that stuff. So, uh, so any audience. So... If you go here, now this is an audience. Now you can go create audiences in the audience manager. Uh, you'll see it has a link right here. You can click that. Um, but I'm not going to use audience manager. For this one, I'm going to check out topics. Uh, I don't usually use topics because, oh, look, law and government. Let's see. Oops, well, let's not just select all of it. Let's see what they have. So legal. Oh, holy smokes. So could you run ads to legal services, product, real estate law? Boom, baby. There you go. <laughs> See how that's exciting to me. I haven't even done that one yet. I'm going to take out the law and government. But now, so look, look, let's say, so in Orange County, so look at the number over here. It's telling me that there's 20,000. I, I would get about 20,000 impressions if in Orange County I was just targeting an ad to real estate law. Obviously, you do it in your area or wherever you are. And what would that message be? I'm not going to go through the rest of this. Um, yeah, because because it's all just, it's going to be the same stuff we did in the other video. But I wanted you to see that you can target uh, real estate law as a, as a target 20,000 people. So now that could mean though, because, you know, they don't give very super specific, right? If I hover over it, it doesn't give me an, an answer as to what does real estate law mean? Does it somebody mean somebody who works in real estate law or someone who is, um, um, you know, needing real estate law? Who would need real estate law? People who are probably dealing with a probate, right? That's a, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, I would assume that if you're an attorney, you might be doing your own research and looking for things and watching videos pertaining to real estate law. And there might be other stuff that you can look at that would um, that would uh, accommodate that. But real estate law, there's your target right there. Create a good, compelling video. Hey, here's why you need the right agent to get your probate listings sold for top dollar, fast, without any hassle, without problems at the courthouse, without... Uh, um, worrying about doing cleanouts and 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 all that stuff, we take care of it all. You know, here's the here's my reasons, whatever. And you put it out there, and then you start getting calls. There you go. So thought that was uh, important to look into. Seeing this, this is a probate marketing channel. All right, take care.
hey thanks for listening please remember to subscribe right here where you're listening to us right now and any of your other social media platforms and leave feedback for me it's really important to me and it helps us out do you have a question that you want answered live on the show go to theprobateagent.com to submit your question or even to get an opportunity to be interviewed for my agent friends you'll also find additional content and some freebies there that you can download right now until next time let's put the pro back into probate